This place was just an ordinary small village at the foot of Lee Mountain. No one could imagine that one day farmers digging a well would hit on one of the most significant archaeological finds in world history. It was a discovery that would change the destiny of the village forever. Beginning in July 1974, an archaeological team of just four people unearthed Pit No. 1, which covers around 14,620 square metres at the site in Lingtong County, Shangxi Province. It contains more than 6,000 terracotta warriors and horses. The unearthing of an enormous army of terracotta warriors, the likes of which had never been seen before, shocked China and the whole world. Painstaking research of the site by archaeologists revealed that the figures were made more than 2,200 years ago by Qin craftsmen that had already mastered terracotta casting and related assembly techniques. The life-size warriors were mainly cast by hand, supplemented by moulding techniques. This advanced process allowed for the production of thousands of figures that each looked different, bearing vivid faces and body features. The nuances of each face imbue each figure with an individual aura, hinting at their inner worlds and feelings. The army of warriors is an expression of ancient realism on an epic scale. The whole site is laid out according to a strict order reflecting the organisation of the Emperor's army. Pit number one contains the main army. Pit number two, which covers some 6,000 square metres, contains mobile forces. The smaller pit, number three, 520 square meters, houses special high-ranking units. These three pits contain infantry, cavalry, and chariots, arranged in meticulous formation, reflecting the highly coordinated power of the Qin army. Archaeologists discovered that pits one, two, and three had later suffered large-scale burning and looting. Textual research indicates that one of the people responsible for this burning was Shang Yu, a general that rose up and rebelled against the Qin's tyrannical rule. It was not just a powerful army that allowed China's first emperor to conquer competing kingdoms and create the first unified Chinese state. Qin Shu Huang also built a new administrative system, national road network, and standardized the system of writing, weights, and measurements used across the land. It was believed that in the afterlife, he would also need powerful forces to safeguard his honour and glory. In December 1987, Qingshu Huang's mausoleum and the terracotta warriors were added to UNESCO's World Heritage List, along with six other sites in China, including the Forbidden City and the Great Wall of China. The excavation of the terracotta warriors, which continues to this day, is now recognised as one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. Here at Guinness World Records, we have recognised the Terracotta Army as the largest group of life-size statues, with an estimated six to 8,000 soldiers and other figures. An incredible feat yet to be rivalled.